Hey everybody, this is Matt from Android Police here reviewing a awesome game that I kind of discovered over the last little while called Euphoria. Euphoria is a real-time strategy game with a little bit of a twist. It's uh, very simplistic, very kind of calming, very different from something like, say, uh, Starcraft or um, Age of Empires 2, you know, some of the very classics of the genre. I'm going to pick a very small... Um, a very small map in order to play with and show you here. Basically, you um, start off with a uh, colony of seedlings, and seedlings are um, your soldiers and kind of your building blocks to do everything. As you can see here, I can zoom in and out in order to see the entire kind of field, and I can zoom in to a very, um, a very kind of deep uh, view. And this is going to come into play when I go and attack other colonies. So as you can see here, um, I can zoom out, I can see another asteroid that's waiting to be colonized. I can click, uh, or sorry, well, touch and drag over to another planet, or asteroid rather, and I can send my uh, units over to colonize it. I can go over up here to the top and speed things up a little bit. And as you can see, my dudes are just going to swarm around it. They're going to claim this asteroid as my own because there are no enemies trying to attack it. Uh, actually, I can, since there's literally no one there, I can build a tree on it, which is going to start producing me more units. So I can just keep moving here. As you can see, my, the base that I had uh, the first time is now producing more units, and I can kind of just go and explore the um, our kind of in-game world here. I'm going to see if I can go uh, find some enemies to attack. Basically, as you can see here, the, we now see a swarm of greys and uh, the greys are kind of our enemies here I can scroll down uh, so it's kind of playing through a little bit of the demo here my astro uh, asteroids being attacked I can zoom out here in order to get more of a macro view of the entire battlefield I can see that other planets have started creating more seedlings I'm gonna bring them up to the front here and then I can kind of see how many enemies I have. So you can see I have 14 enemies here. And then I have my own seedlings, which are numbering in 50. So I know I can really outnumber them. I'm going to screw. Um, I'm going to actually just drag all my forces over here. And then zoom in. And you can see as my forces come over, you can see each individual um, ship fighting, you know, things like uh, the other... Um, structures, the other units. And as you can see, since I've outnumbered them so much, I've taken their asteroid. Which is kind of cool. I really like this. It really evokes kind of like a dogfighting feel from something like Star Wars. Um, because you can see each individual unit, but then you can zoom out and see kind of the entire... Um, the entire battlefield, which is kind of cool. And especially in later levels where you're defending and attacking multiple asteroids at once, it really gives you... Um, you really kind of have to manage, you know, being in the right place at the right time. You know, leaving some units behind in order to defend, in order to... Uh, you know, prevent from enemy attacks, and then just, uh, you know, splitting your forces, massing them up, that kind of stuff. Um, it's also in a very calming environment, I find. The music's really nice, graphics are really nice as well, and um, really allows you to kind of just sit back, enjoy it. I'm not a, the type of person that really likes very high-stress uh, real-time strategy games. Um, they also kind of introduce some rock, paper, scissors mechanics later with enemy types and that kind of thing. I can build defenses for my asteroids. I can also, you know, spawn other more powerful units. Um, but in terms of, like, maintenance and upkeep and making sure all my upgrades are going and that kind of stuff, it doesn't really have that kind of same stress and urgency as StarCraft. A lot of the strategy just comes from being um, kind of a macro uh, oriented as opposed to micro. So as you can see here, I have uh, kind of failed at that, at that front because I've let all my... Um, units kind of become backlogged so I'm going to move them all to the front so now I've got a very hefty force of over 50 units I'm just going to keep conquering everything in my way I'm drag over there actually I haven't colonized this planet yet now I can go over to the last one and since there's no enemies there it's just going to become very easy I'm going to build a tree and I think that's the last one I actually have to colonize so, a very basic overview of the game. I really like it. Very good musical experience, very good kind of um, uh, visual experience, um, especially with all being able to see all the units just at such a micro scale and being able to like live out huge battles and then zoom out and be like, okay, going to move some more units, going to you know upgrade what I need to, that kind of thing. Um, 
It allows you to kind of switch gears very easily. Very satisfying to play. Each level is going to maybe take you a maximum of half an hour in order to play. This one is a tutorial level, so as you can see, very short. Um, definitely encourage picking this up. Uh, you can find it on the Google Play Marketplace. Um, yeah, the, I'm playing this on my Nexus 7. should work on most phones. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you can follow Android Police or check out androidpolice.com for more Android news, uh, um, hardware reviews, app reviews like this one. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter at, at Matt Demers. Have a good day again, ladies and gentlemen, and happy hunting.